So they're just doing their hooks. So now they're going to be going into the character selection. We got a Shulk player. We actually haven't, haven't seen much of Shulk just in general in the community. And not a lot of people play. But a lot of people do say he is good. It's just very hard to manage. So we're going to see if uh, he is able to play it out. So here we go. We're getting to the first game here. And Blue Jay starting out with the speed. He's moving pretty quickly here. Switches to Buster. He's going to be looking to put on as much damage as he can. Shield. Very, he's very quick with these switches on the on the Monado arc. So that's a good sign. Um, a lot of folks have a hard time switching uh, between the arts, and that's actually the reason why he becomes such a hard uh, character to play because you have to know the timings of the of the arts and know when they uh, come back up. So there's a cooldown in between switching too. You gotta know all that stuff. And he's moving really quickly with these forward He's just trying to get in there, but DDD getting these hard hits and he's gonna be able to do a lot of damage. Switches to jumps, just a shield last second there to make sure he does not fall. Ooh, very good with his arts too. It's gonna be a very good match. Nice parry there. He's gonna get the back throw though. Edge guard situation comes back on stage with a nice air dodge. Switching to jump here to get be able to get in a little bit quicker. But gets down smash and that's gonna be the first stock of the match. Blue Jay picking up that first stock and that's gonna be a pretty decent lead for him. Especially because as long as he gets a couple hits here, he can get a really big lead since he does so much damage. Gets a nice charge. Attack there, that's gonna bring it to a bit, nearly a full stop lead. Upbeat coming out from the Shulk, that's gonna create an edge guard situation. Puts on the speed to really be able to get in there, gets hit by the upbeat into up air. That's gonna beast the stock 100% off the top with the side B from the DDD. Just gonna be able to get that up air. So looking for those tilts, gonna turn to shield to make sure he doesn't get gimped here. I think he just needs to close out the stock and then he's switch to the smasher and just try to finish the stock out. Goes to up the up side not to pull the art out. The thing about the art is you have to be smart about which one you pull out. He holds out speed or, or buster. It's pretty obvious that he's looking to just get in there and do as much damage as he can. It, you switch to smash, you know you're looking for those smash attacks. He's looking to kill. Looking to get this kill with shield. You're going to be playing more defensive. Uh, jump, you're just trying to recover or maybe... Uh, also could be used for neutral. So the problem with Shulk, in my opinion, is that the arts kind of give away what you're trying to do. But uh, they also make you really strong. So if uh, you're able to punish somebody and switch into your art quickly, and then punish them, you can get some pretty nasty punishers that can do a lot of damage. And Shield allows you to great counter, going to knock them off stage, create an edge guard situation. Not able to get anything because he gets sucked up by the DDD. He's getting that forward smash there. It's not going to be able to do much though. Look for the up B. Going to break his shield with the up B. Hugs at the side B. He's going to finish him off. Switch. Oh, almost able to get the shield out. Not not quick enough. Maybe, maybe I don't know, even know if you're actually able to get that out before that happens. But he does kind of open it out. That would have been insane if he lives from that. Nice shield break coming out from Blue Jay. He's going to take the first game here. <clears throat> so we're going into the second match here. Uh, same matchup, DDD and Shulk. Game again, here we go. Starts off with the speed again, very good. Um, pretty standard stuff. You want the speed, you want to kind of overwhelm your opponent as soon as you can right in the beginning of the match. So, big are getting a nice down throw forward air for a good, good amount of percent there. He's going to be up quite a bit of percent so far. 50% to 50%.
See some nice forward airs coming out from Shulk. Oh, that's the up it, but it's not going to cancel the up B. It gets the super on there from the up B before he's able to really knock him out of it. And he's going to have that speed again. 90 to 90 is very close match so far. They've been the same percent very many times so far. Gets the suck up, throws him out, and that might be the end of Akia. Yeah, what a really smart neutral B from EJ able to get that kill. That was so smart. Able to get that stop quickly, and uh, Shulk's gonna wanna finish this stack off as soon as he can. Not allow DDD to get much uh, extra credit here. And he's able to get that stock without losing too much. He's gonna be in that jump. He's probably gonna switch to Smash soon. To be able to try to, uh, I mean, not Buster, to be able to get that percent up. And oh my gosh, he takes 100. He's up at 118%. With the shield though, he can. He basically becomes a heavy, and so he gets comboed easily, but he does uh, survive longer. He's able to almost make it back, but the up air from Blue Jays can be able to close out that stock. We're looking at a last stock situation here for Ikea. He's going to have to turn it up to be able to survive in this bracket. Looking for the forward air, not able to get that. Goes for the counter there to make sure, to see it, make sure he doesn't get hit. Gets the forward, hard forward smash buster. That's really huge. He's looking for the up B to close the stock out with the smash, not a run. Oh, he almost gets his shield broken there by the forward smash from GDD, but it's not going to be able to break the shield. The shield's super low, though, which means he's very vulnerable. He gets the shield Mon uh, Monado art out right before he gets up. Up there, there. Able to get it, make it back on stage. He's at 120%, though. He's and he's down a stock too. This is gonna be a miracle if he makes it back. He really needs to pull out the stock very soon if he wants to be able to make something happen in the next stock. Nice, he's able to forward air him out of the up B. He's able to grab the ledge though. Very good edge guarding so far. He's putting a lot of pressure on Blue Jay on the ledge, and that's really smart though. He used the up B to get out of the way of this spiky ball. Oh, he gets the counter on the forward smash. Puts on the jump and he's looking to just kind of avoid DDD for a little bit while he decides kind of what he wants to do. Oh, he gets up tilt. That's going to be, he's going to live there. He's going to be able to get the speed on. That's a forward air. And that's going to be the stock. He's going to fall there. That's going to be a 2-0 for Blue Day playing very well that game. And that Shulk actually playing really well too. So we actually have some pretty good competition here. If we know that the Shulk, if uh, Kia played that well and 